Okay, so here to add an icon, let's go into our content view and add a new element into the vertical stack. Before we jump into this video, go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership and get access to all of the courses we've ever created. That's over 2,000 hours of content. An icon is a form of image, and here you can pass in a system name for the image. And instead of choosing something like for example, an image that you uploaded into the project, you can just return the name of an icon like moon. And this is in the form of a string. So now if you wait a moment, you can actually see a moon icon will appear in the app. Okay. And this is known as an SF symbol, which comes with Xcode. And if you want to see all of the available symbols, then go to the web page developer.apple.com slash sf dash symbols here this is the official documentation for sf symbols 3 these symbols are available for ios ipad mac os tv os and watch os and you can download an application called sf symbols 3 and this actually will allow you to see all of the available symbols so i've actually downloaded that and i now have the sf symbols app on my computer this is what it looks like you can see on the left hand side all of the categories of symbols there's a lot of symbols that you can use and they all look great we're going to be using symbols under the weather category because those are good for greetings like time of day you can have a sunrise you can have a sun a sunset a moon and more so there's tons of symbols i definitely recommend this sf symbols application now in the next lecture we are going to learn how we can display multiple icons. So currently we're just displaying a moon and you can see how easy it is to use an SF symbol. Here we're using the SF symbol for the moon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership where you can get access to over 350 courses that we've created.